why the fuck does it sound like he has to whisper? Does she not like that he games? Is Pretty she much. opposed to it? Like, you're gonna have a fucking daughter. Hold that thought. <sighs> down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, up. I told- no, I get it. I fucking get it, dude. You dude, I bet you 10,000 motherfucking dollars that we're not gonna get invited to the fucking wedding. And if that happens, I will literally go off on Denisha. I don't give a fuck who she is, what she is to my, one of my friends. I don't give a fuck. The fact that you won't invite us to one of our best friend's wedding, I will literally- No matter how much we rip into him. By the way, welcome back. Oh my god. Ah! One of these fucking episodes. Bob's fired up. Oh my god, it's great. It's <sighs> fucking fantastic. It's, it's, it's fucking annoying. Like, I'm not saying it's gonna happen or if it's not gonna happen, but like, you know- I like this. Is it being is it being like to the point like, hey, you want to let some of your friends know? Be like, hey, you want to bring them to the wedding? Or hey, guys, um, we're planning on getting married. Those like, I mean, it's probably gonna be like years or so, or whatever. It better fucking be years or so, or whatever. But like, I don't know. It's just it's just fucking stupid. This entire thing is stupid. Like, I love Rich to death. I bust on him a lot, but like. <sighs> Still he's just as young as we are. When when I think of mentality, he's just as young as we are. Yeah, he busts his ass and he works too, but like, it's video games. We, like, that's one of the things that we like fucking doing. It's video games. It's our downtime. When it's we're like, not with our girls, we fucking do this. Yep. We jerk off, watch porn, who gives a fuck? Christ. But then there's fucking video games. There's always been video games growing up for then one person to come on our life and say, Oh, you're not doing this anymore. No! Bitch, there's the motherfucking window you can either jump out or get out the front door because you're not gonna come into my life tell me how I'm gonna do my shit. I'm fucking lucky. Abby loves that I play video games. She watches me play video games. She understands that I love Retro Millennia and do all of this for it. And right. she's like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna play Xbox in your room. I'll wait for you to come back. If I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Wake me up and we'll, we'll play some more games. Sure. Yeah, like... We set up schedules. We do things where it comes to it. I understand that the distance thing could be somewhat of a thing for him to come up here in all that time with recording and all that stuff. But look, look at how initiative he's taking. He's like, you know, I really want to do Borderlands 2. I want to see how I can make that work. I'm like, you know what, dude? That's the first fucking sign of incentive since you've shown since the last time you've ever been on this fucking episode. And the last thing I ever remember him on is Broforce. That's pretty much the last thing he was on. Broforce and the first parts of Wind Waker with you guys, and then you and Curtis took it over because, of course, he left. But, like, it really pisses me off because if you really love somebody unconditionally and wholeheartedly, you love them for them. You love them for what they what they love doing. I mean, of course, if I like fucking killing people, I'd want somebody to come into my life and be like, babe, you're going to have to tow that down a bit. <laughs> like, you know? Like, sure. And I'll greatly appreciate the shit out of that. It makes me love the person even more. But getting the support from that person that you love so much makes it even more enjoyable. Knowing that you can play something that you love, knowing that in the back of your mind, holy shit, she actually likes that I do this, or she supports that I do this, makes it even ten times more fucking fun for yeah. you. I love the fact that I can play Smash Bros. next to Abby when she's laying down, cheering me, literally cheering me on, saying, get him, get him, get him, get him. And, like, when I lose, because you always lose, she would be like, you know what? Try again next time. Practice a little more. You got it. If it matters to you the most, having somebody that supports what matters more to you, is, it's, it's fucking, it's great. And it really, all this, in, the past two years with this bullshit has pissed me off to the point where I'm not going to be able to keep my mouth shut anymore. Because I promise you, Dan, if we don't get invited to the slightest thing of Rich's important moment of his life, I will literally crash the fucking party high, drunk, LXD up. I don't give a fuck. Ruin it. I will ruin everything. Everything. I will not even give two shits. You can drive me. Curtis can drive me. I, I really will not give a fuck. My hat and my glasses are off. That's how fucking steamed I am about this shit. <laughs> fucking steamed. Oh, god damn. Seemed like his... Like, how does that even show that you love somebody that you try to strip them from what they love the most? Being with the people they've been around with when he's been alone. Like, who the fuck are you to come into his fucking life out of nowhere to be like, you're not allowed to go up there. You better come back. Snake! And you... And, <laughs> oh, look! How fucking appropriate is a fucking snake? What? 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Because, like, why? It'll be like, hey, you know, it'd be cool if we have some lunch soon. I know you're going to be gaming with your friends. We're like, oh, have fun. You haven't seen them in the wild. I'm having vacation in fucking Florida. You know what? Have fun with your friends. Just make sure you're back at the house. Make sure everything's good at the house and everything's okay. Nope. Holy fucking shit! The easiest statement a person could ever say. No, I don't want you with them. No, I don't want you playing video games. You need to do this. You need to do this right now because I'm doing this right now. Like, I drove 45 minutes in a truck that is falling apart that barely, barely gives me fucking mileage. And you want me to just immediately drop everything. Are you going to wire me money? Are you going to pay me for the gas? And I just fucking wasted to try to hang out with my friends. Because I was supposed to wait a little bit longer for my other friends to show up so we can actually have a fucking episode because we want to include him. We love Rich. Like, sure, for the majority of our fucking episodes throughout Pokemon, throughout everything, you know, I bust on him about all of it. Because if I didn't give a shit about you, dude, I would not even mention your fucking name. Sure, I'll be like, oh yeah, four out of five members have their balls or whatever. You know, half of it's fun in games, half of it's like, bruh. Because we're fucking, we're like, ultimately we're worried. We're, we're you know, it, ah! Oh my fucking I'm an God. emo kid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's, fu it's fucking ridiculous. It really pisses me off. Because... How would you feel if Taylor's like, you know, I really don't like you playing video games anymore. Or like, you know what, I don't want you doing Retro Millennia. I feel like you're spending too much time on that and not enough time on doing other things. You literally, like, you wouldn't even know what to say to her because you'd be like, really? In your head, you'd be like, did I just hear those fucking words out of my fucking mouth? Out of your fucking mouth. Because if somebody told that to me, my childhood is questioned. My growing up playing video games gets questioned and what I do now gets questioned and I take that shit personally because sure, people have their opinions over, you know, Destiny. I love the shit out of Destiny. You know, people have their opinions about it, but it's something that I enjoy doing and it's a lot of fucking fun. Then there's Black Ops if we want to start fucking raging. And then there's Twilight Princess where fucking Midna is a whore. And then there's a bunch of other shit. But it's a video game that we're playing at the end of the day. We're doing it because it helps us escape the real fucking world and, you know, it's nice. The audacity for somebody to be like, no, you're not allowed to do that. Bitch, who the fuck? Oh, oh well, my well, god. Well, it's like, I, I feel like when someone in a relationship tells you you can or can't do something because they don't like that you're doing it, if it's not hurting the relationship, it becomes more of an emotional abusive relationship. More than anything else, like if 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 I were to be like Taylor, I don't want you to row because I don't like you rowing. Just just that's that's the only reason. It rare. it becomes like an emotional, uh, an, an emotional abusive relationship. Not that I would tell her to do that, you know. And if that shit doesn't what make you feel quiet. like trash inside, you don't have a fucking heart and you don't love that person. That's that's where I end my rant. If you don't support, okay, reasonably. You if you don't support. Then? Something that somebody does and you can see like a light shine when they smile and they see the and you see the fucking enjoyment and you tell them to knock it off. Fucking shame on you. Go eat a shit ton of garbage because that's not even better than oh my god. Eating a pile of shit. A five day old shit that has clearly been used for laxative purposes and all the other shit will be more edible and enjoyable than even looking at your fucking disgusting, atrocious, god forbidding face. Yeah. The end. The the end. Glasses are on. No hats on. Rant rant fuck rant's over. That was a solid nine minute fucking damn, son. I I that is literally the least amount of time the most amount of time I've ever talked about. I've I've never ever said something like that. Like or I'm I'm at a loss for words here, rather guys. I'm yeah, and me out of all people to say the shit that I just said. Well, you just you just gotta let it out sometimes, guy. Yeah, it's so. Hmm. I after that. Where are we? I saw a snake, an egg, and then like I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what game we're playing. I, well, I, what do I? I think I'm gonna have to name this. Rob gets real. Just so I can remember what it's, it, it's not like, you know, sure, it's genuinely directed to one person, but it's for everybody. It's fuck? for everybody. Oh. Like, okay, let's use, you know, Kyle Holmes as an example. One of our one of our homies, you know, our go-to, he he loves running, loves track, all that shit. If somebody walked up to him and be like, you know Again, what? You need really? to stop you need to stop doing track. You're not good at it. Like uh, old lady arms. Oh god, old lady arms. Oh, I can feel my fucking back. I can much. feel the wind. My but fucking. Like, <laughs> Kyle would literally be like, "Go fuck yourself." I love running. It's what I do. Pretty much. 
And you're I mean, not, you're and not I mean you, would, you shouldn't expect anything else other than that response. Yeah. You shouldn't even, ha like, a person shouldn't even have to just... You're fucking trash if you think that you're gonna be able to stop somebody from doing what they love. Like, you're, you're fucking retarded. I never, I hate using that word, but you are literally fucked up down beneath the chromosomes if you think that somebody's gonna stop something that they enjoy for you. Unless it's reasonable. If you find it, if you find it to be such a fucking problem and you don't know shit about it, why don't you sit down with them while they're doing it? Why don't you say, maybe I could play or maybe I can understand? Or, or maybe I can, like, be a part of it. Indulge. Try being a part of it. Because you don't even know what it is. You don't even know how exciting it is to, like, snake! that, Damn that, it. a snake, that, that shit makes you I jump. I couldn't pull the gun out fast enough. And, it, like, it gives you that rush and excitement. Damn it, now he's gonna be fucking swimming around in the water. Kill them all. All of them. Fucking, uh, Don't waste your time with people that don't support the shit that makes you happy. That's all I have to say anymore. Fucking... <laughs> Bobby the Beaner 2020. <laughs> Rob out. <laughs> mic drop. Oh, fuck. I'm not dropping this mic. But... Fucking snake. Ah, oh, that's... Ooh. Boop! Did okay. we get anything done this episode? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm progressing the story. If anything else is important to you, is No, oh, yeah, no, it's important to me. There's an egg there. No, I know. I see it. I'm just trying to... There's a guy behind me. I don't, I'm, I don't appreciate it. He keeps fucking closing in on me. It's not... It's not making me feel happy. I need that, though. Can you just get the fuck out of here? Come, come, come. Oh! Well, yeah, I would imagine that a fucking bullet to the face. Oh, my God. Senpai is so kawaii. So good. He's so good. Okay. Uh, Look at all that ammo we have. Fucking backed up for days now. All right, there we go. We're ready now. I got the stock equipped. I I enjoyed that that session you just had because that was excellent dialogue and rant, diarrhea of the mouth. That was that was that was, that was quality work. Thank you. I don't, I don't think I can uh <laughs> I can live up for that. Live up to that. Oh God. Ah oh, snake! <laughs> Fuck! Just sit there. Ha. <laughs> ha. Kill me, ha. <laughs> Damn it, they fucking scare the shit out of me every time, too. <laughs> and I mean, rightfully so, if we're talking about the last topic. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't, come on, come on, doesn't take that many bullets. Um, incendiary? Flash. Damn, a golden egg. I don't want to use that. Is that a nugget? Is it going to give us 5,000? Uh, right, would that doing? be nice, right? That'd be great. Fucking Lord Sadler. killed me. Give me some head pops here, thank you. All right, cool. Uh, I want some shotgun dam. Shotgun dam. Give me my six. I like how he only puts two shells in there, but I have six shots. Nothing more. Oh, you were, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A little too close for my liking. Well, um, I don't know about you, but uh, I feel like that's a solid stopping point. I'm gonna use this instead, because I don't wanna, I wanna keep the fucking, keep him for the yellow one. But uh, I'm gonna go find a happy place now to go think about my thoughts and feel bad, my <coughs> bad about myself after what Rob just said. Because I'm a terrible person. You know? It's what it comes down to, I guess. How are you all still fucking alive after that? Seriously? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, please. No! Oh. Is that a fucking snake over there? It fucking is! I thought I killed them all. Come on. Fucking it's starting to look like your inventory from Factorio. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck it, bitch. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Come on. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Fuck! I lost him! Oh, there he is. Oh, damn it. No. No. We... We are... We are done talking now. Thank you. Goodbye. Mate. Champ. Friend. Fucking bitch snake. That was a lot of blood for fucking snake. Like... Calm down there. Who, who, who made this game? Who, who the, who's fucking mans is this? Who this, made this, this game? <laughs> this is Capcom. Fucking chill the fuck out with the blood, Capcom. When this game come out? You, look at look at that! Look at that! That's a lot of fucking like not even the. the Am I killing mothers? Is that what I'm doing? I'm getting eggs. I'm... Oh, the irony! Oh, the irony! Don't. That's 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 a fucked up place. We don't go there. We don't go. <laughs> we don't go there. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you guys are, if someone's in an, like an emotionally or physically abusive relationship. You seek help. Like, that is some serious shit. Like, don't ever be scared. It, it is scary to try and break free of it. But don't ever be scared that 
you tr- sought help or be ashamed. Or be ashamed. Yeah, or be ashamed. Yeah. yeah, because you think that it's weak to find help from somebody because that's it's not okay to be you you can find someone that could treat you so so much better. And this isn't just to anything that we were just talking about, just in general. Like you can always find someone that just will treat you so much better and you deserve someone that will treat you how you wish to be treated and we're not talking about that bdsm stuff you know what i'm saying yeah because instead of wasting the time on the person that you're trying to like give your all to for them to just spit on you and treat you like trash finally it'll feel so much fucking better when you find somebody else that does all of that what you did for that old person without even asking you just sit back and be like holy shit just what did i even do to deserve you'll question yourself every day like what did i even do to deserve this I'm fucking grateful. You'll be grateful. Keep doing the sweet things. But when that person does it back without questioning, without you even expecting it, and for you feeling the, like the special one for once, there you go. You're fucking set. You're lit. There. Lit. Next time on Retro Millennium, <laughs> I will promise, fuck that. If I ever have something on my mind like that again, I am going to let loose. So This, this, is, our, this is our vent series. This apparently. is the vent series. <laughs> this is Resident Evil 4. I will literally rip all of you motherfuckers a new asshole who need it. Fuck with me. Okay. Out. Out. Well, we got the whole... No, 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 no. We got the Holy Grail. Look. We got the green, red, red yellow. Or mixed. Okay. So then what? We Retro have a out. fucking Italian IC because that's all I see. Ha! <laughs> Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> and the goddamn episode. <laughs>